need to find this place or we'll be late. Make a left on Astrology Avenue. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant right. It should be right here. Four, 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 three, way. Oh, turn, turn, turn. It looks like Renee. Yay, we're on time. The James and Kelly Show. Great, let's start the show. Here we go. Well, well, it's a great show tonight, which um, for years, uh, this, this topic has been up there uh, for a lot of people. I'm wondering about exactly about orbs, spirit yes. orbs. And there are some people that seem to be able to um, take pictures of orbs quite all frequently. And others cannot. And they're all different types of orbs. So we're going to discuss orbs. And I know you've been researching on top of everything else you know. Okay. I, know I just know you do. I mean, I just say, well, maybe I can look up a little bit of orbs. But that Kelly already did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's yeah. the Virgo, the real Virgo. It's the truth. I mean, I'm such a researcher. So this is the definition of an orb by the okay. Merriam-Webster dictionary. It's any of the concentric spheres in old astronomy surrounding the Earth and carrying celestial bodies around. Isn't that interesting? interesting. Celestial interesting. bodies. Now there was an interesting. I have to. I have to read you this, James. So. I found this book, you know, first of all, James gave me, he's given me many, many books, many, but you gave me this book on orbs. I did, didn't I? You I, did. Oh, I forgot. Oh my gosh. This is a really interesting treasure to have about a woman who had um, never really dealt with orbs and all of a sudden in all of her pictures, there, everyone where they were. And then I found an old book that I hadn't seen in a long time, the spirit wow, book. It's a Bible. It's a Bible on yeah the Encyclopedia of Clairvoyance, Channeling, and Spirits I, Communication. I'm in that book, you know, I am in there. <laughs> I didn't know because I didn't look, but yeah, wow! Like, yeah, so yeah. here's a great quote from, of all people, James, Arthur Finley. Oh, wow! I mean, Arthur Finley College uh, in England for mediumship. <clears throat> so he said that sometimes when photographs are taken, a small orb is seen on the print when it's developed. This indicates psychic energy present, or it's an indicator that spirit is with the person in the photo in the photograph. The orbs that are seen on many photographs may or may not have the potential for forming into materialized spirits. It probably depends on the person in the photograph, whether or not they have the potential to be a physical medium. Correct. It seems, however, that more and more photographs are showing these orbs now. Correct. Correct. So I think the spirit world is using a different type of energy to come in. Yes. Um, and, and I have found that as well. And Arthur Finley was a, a real researcher in, in psychical research. Um, so he, he would know. Yeah, okay. um, and my, my experience, and I first started doing this 30, 40 years ago, there weren't as many, uh, at least in here, as, about, as many. And, and they've come about. And of course, now it happens quite, quite often. And I know you have like, many examples yeah. of orbs. And people often say, look, 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 what does this mean? And, I honestly can't say what it means, except that I do know the spear one said to me, the way they, they put it to me was, it's a concentration of energy for us around you to know you that we're with you. Oh, wow. So it, it might be more than one person. It might be one of them, more one soul. It might be a, several of them concentrated right. together to materialize that in this dimension. I, I, so it could be one. I, I, I would just think there's a lot to materialize. Right. Well, one time I was with you, James, we were in, I think it was Australia and we were on a ship and somebody, after you had been doing readings, you must've done, you know, a hundred readings and somebody took a bunch of pictures and I tried to find it. Sadly, I don't have it, but the orbs in that room, I had never seen anything like it yeah, from yeah. after when you had been doing all those readings. It was extraordinary. It, it happened quite a lot after a demonstration, a lot of right. orbs around on the stage and then uh, around the audience. Yeah. That, that oh my here. God. So there's a book by Anthony Kevin Sircom, Anthony Ke Kevin, maybe Sircom, and it's called Spirit Orb Phenomena, Fact or Fiction. And he says that spirit orbs or balls of light, sometimes they're called that, are commonly described as hovering or floating circular rounded spherical balls of energy and light and spirit orbs are made of plasma plasma and consist of a complex plasmoid spherical energy structure of millions of unknown elements and emitting electromagnetic energy 
I, I like that it said unknown because I agree with that. There are some unknown elements in there, just like ectoplasm that right. it, uh, protrudes from the medium's orifices. It's the same thing with that. There is a material in there that we are unaware of, I think, in this level. Right, right. Well, would you guys like to see a video? We've got a few yeah. videos. Would you like to see one that'll I mean, blow you so away? Many. Yeah, but this is sent into us, yes. Okay, please. this is a, the one that we're going to start off with that Renee's going to post. I should mention, this comes from a client who told me I could use it. I'm not going to give her name. But in her family, she had a situation, she has a situation with her daughter. And her husband had died, uh, ex-husband had died a few years ago. But the daughter is the concern right now. The daughter is the concern. And so she called me and she sent this to me and um, I sent this to you, James, and your response was like, perfect. But <laughs> if we could show this first yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, what I said, but go, continue. Yeah. You, I mean, you said call Ghostbusters <laughs> when you saw this. This I've never seen anything like this it was before. Weird. It was but, pretty and then I, so let's see if you could roll this one, Renee, because it's pretty unbelievable. Wild. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Now, watch the little yeah, feet. Moves. I mean, look at how it look moves. Look at the little feet as it walks away. Is that something? Yes, but of course, the, then there's a part of me, which is that Virgo, which is like, did someone create that? So I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. That. No, no, no. No way. Nobody created that one. That one. And it was so interesting because, again, her husband had died, ex-husband had died. And when I did a reading for her, I started giving all the names of all these people that I certainly don't know. And that they are on the other side. And then it came to me that they were all part of this helping her daughter get through a well, situation right now. Maybe that's what this is, to let her know yeah. this. Absolutely. I, I hope she sent it to the daughter so the daughter sees that. Well, that's the problem. The daughter is, is unavailable right now, having a problem. It's very yeah. interesting, though. I was once at uh, the Ford Theater in uh, Washington, D.C. It was, I, as you know, I have a very big Abraham Lincoln thing. Yes. You know, but my very big um very big <laughs> and uh, i will go to this this show but he was a guide of mine for during my tv show beyond and he came to me days before the show started taping and he said and it was him with the beings around the bed and he said i said is that so is that being linked at my bed what is that <laughs> and basically said that we are from the new or order or new world order or new order or something and he said we are here to help you know that we're helping to help you with this show, to bring a show out. And um, anyway, I, ne I needed proof, of course. And I, and I got it. I got it every single day for two years in the sign of a penny on the stage or a, or a, a $5 bill at my wallet or a, a truck going by said Lincoln every day for five wow. years. That was my reference. But yeah. when I went down there with my good friend, Jordy, who we know, um, yeah. like Obama, uh, we went to the Ford Theater and it was really interesting, Kelly, because nobody was there. It was very strange. It was like one in the afternoon and no one, no attendees were there. We're the only ones. And, the man running, I said, you can hang out there if you want. You can't go in the booth, but you can stay, go on the stage or whatever. So I set the stage and I asked Spirit to come in. And we felt them anyway. We felt the energy anyway. And Jordan took several pictures. And it was, you could barely see the delineation between the backstage and where I was. Because there were orbs everywhere. And orbs oh everywhere. Oh, my I, gosh. Layers of them. So could that be at that time or that could be from times past? Or Yeah. That was very We don't know. That's fascinating. Yeah. Could be. Wow. So, thought forms from people as well. I mean, there's so much to it I, that I think goes beyond us, but right. they're real. They're, they're real. real. Well, I've got another one that we're going to do now. I should set this one up too. Okay. So this one is a, it, it very interesting to me. So my niece came over three weeks ago for dinner on a Saturday night. And she said, well, I have to show you this video. She said, I don't know what this is. Now, this is coming from Ring. You know, the, the thing Ring some people have ring on their front doors yes, or, yes. so they can sit do video. So this comes from, from ring. And so my niece said, you've got to see this. So I look at this and you guys are going to watch this. I said, what is that? I said, well, maybe Peggy, it's a bunch of relatives, you know, that have passed that are just keeping an eye on you. And, and she said, do you think it's a warning? I said, I, I can't imagine. I don't know. Now here's what happened. So show the video and then I'll, I'll tell what, what the story happened <clears throat> after this. So, Renee, yeah. Wow. That's pretty wild. <laughs> Goodness. It just hovers about. 
Is it a backyard, a side yard? It's a uh, front yard, the yeah. front. But right. here's the, the weird thing is um, two days later, two days later, her neighbor across the street, who was a, a farmer who was really close with her, they did everything together. Uh, he passed of COVID. Wow. And he had been in a coma, James, when this was taken two, three days before. Wow. Now, so let's talk about that aspect. Wow. And I wow. think that's what the message was. And she was wow. in tune enough to say, is it a warning? And I said, you know, I'm thinking, no, it's, but I think it was. I don't see warning or warning, but I just to is around ready to take him that they yeah. come to get him. I think that's more, I, I, I think that's yeah. more than likely what it is because they do that. Um, yeah. So I have more interpreted warning, but, but yeah. yeah, that's real. That's pretty amazing. Um, pretty amazing. I've seen it a lot with um, um, partners that pass over children that pass over. Um, yeah. And also uh, this is interesting because when we have phenomena, like uh, things like electric lights going on off computers, things, it, it usually, it's somehow the spirit world affects a magnetic uh, field of that yeah. instrument. I don't know how they do it. But they have to have kind of that mindset, that scientific mindset, that they're aware of that, and that helps with them to have have this manifestation. And of course, the chemists and spirits and spirit uh, doctors on the side, and scientists know how to manipulate or do these things to have them occur here in the physical. Um, but it's really, I, I find it is definitely um, many times those who have passed over. I. I Sometimes warnings, not haven't heard of that a lot, yeah. but definitely places are we call them haunted or visited. Um, I've yeah. seen that a lot too. Um, so is that a thought, a thought form? So it's a many things for sure, but they're real. Sure. They're real. Wow. Well, wait do you see the third video we have, y'all. Okay. Now this is from a client who sent this to me, and um, her beloved husband had passed maybe two months before. Mm -hmm. So this is really, I mean, as you said, love never dies, never. So Renee, whenever it's a, uh, it's unbelievable. Now she, oh she's in goodness. her room at dark. She, her room is pitch black. She's on the phone. Oh my goodness. Now watch this. And then it. And when did he die? He died this. I think he died three months ago and this started happening a month after he passed. Oh wow. But then there's one that's, wow. you'll see. I mean, it's, and she's just, you know, doing her thing on <laughs> On her phone. Whatever. On her phone. She's talking on her phone. She's, you know, and you know, where's the light coming from, Kelly? Is it a um she had a like a ring.com, so she oh. had that going on, but it's infrared camera. Right. So um but then watch this one scene and it's uh, coming up. Renee, could you just go to that one scene? Because it's it's so unbelievable. Um okay, here it comes. This is um you're going to see he just leans in and you can you see him. Slept the bed with her. Right. As you, as how many times have we done readings where we've said that, where the soul tells us we're in they sleep with you? Night, your night's a kiss, yep. And, but he comes in and he kisses her. Look at that. Oh, wow. I mean, is that something? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's just phenomenal. That's pretty great. Thanks, that's Renee. Really good one. That was a really yeah, good one. Thank you, Renee, one. for that. I mean, that's a good one. Now, I have another one for a client who lost her husband. And where do you see this one? So her husband also died of COVID. And this was in March of 2020. And uh, her sister had came in in the middle of the night and took this picture. And um, they sent it to me immediately. But you've, you've got to see this to believe it. Renee, if you could do that fourth one. Where do you see this one? This is this is just a picture. Wow. It's not a video, but oops, no, oh no, not that one. Oh, but you can still see he. This guy just hangs in the back. He's just hanging on there. <laughs> yeah, that's like a manifest of physical. It's like that. Perhaps is that. But they're always around us. So they're always around that. us. Um, yeah. I had yeah. You have one more right? And yeah. uh, well, where did I get oh, there? It is okay. Look at that one. Now my client is uh, actually you can't tell, but she's sleeping in the bed right there. Wow. 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 That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm a friend of mine said literally she was cleaning her floor yesterday and she sent me this photograph and it looked like that on the floor. And I was like, well, you, you missed the spot. <laughs> 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 I think that's spirit, I said, spirit gave me a sign and they did. 
Oh yeah. my gosh. I mean, that's just, um, it's just, just amazing. I, I, yes. I mean, they're always around us. I mean, spirits are always around us. Always, always, always around. around. You, you can't be alone. It's actually not possible. No. And, you know, it's so funny. I, 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 I it, my mind goes this all the time, thinking, you know, we are spirits having human experience, and yet we get we put so much emphasis on the human part of us when they're all around us. That we're we just have a foot in this world, a foot in the other world all the time, and yes. that's a mental world, of course. And we we could just control our mental thoughts here, but it would be so much better. But I'm so aware of that there with us all the time. Right. I, I'm just so aware of that, and then and for me. Of course, I realize I'm a teacher. You're a teacher. That we have, you know, people that just don't get that at all, and and to me, it's a sad thing yeah. because there's nothing to look forward to. There's nothing to think that this is it, and this this isn't it. This is just a small this piece is, of the puzzle. I, I mean, it's our time to go home. There's a big party waiting for us. They're looking forward to us coming back. Oh yeah. Oh, I love this. Pam Orsini says, after my dog passed, I got a rainbow paw print on my kitchen floor. Oh, uh, so that two weeks ago, someone's animal passed and they got two rainbows together that day. Oh, so that's spirit working with them for sure. I, it's very, very true. Oh, and I love the that. The more we are seeing them, Kelly, the more up, the more they will, we will see them. So the more we expand our minds, we will yes. see the phenomena. So people should open themselves up and look for signs and, you know, just look and see what happens because uh, you'll open up that space in your mind, but you'll be able to connect with that. And see. Right. And it's not scary. It's just no, part of everything. It's not scary at all. No, it's, it's like amazing. A and yeah. Renee, I know we have one more photo, which is really an interesting one, too. That somebody sent me about a, a wedding. Her daughter was getting married. And where do you see the minister when he's as he's marrying them? I mean, uh, this is look at the orb over the oh, minister's wow. head. Look at that. Is that something? Yeah, I, I, that's pretty amazing. People yeah. have taken pictures of me in my demonstrations, and I've had um, very interesting orbs around me, purple yeah. and golds and well. And, and let's talk about the colors because they orbs can be in different colors too. Or different colors, and and I've heard different things. I've heard that it, it it really represents what's going on with the person that they're working with. That the orb, uh. the, the energy of that person. So if there's red, maybe the person needs more red energy in their life. Um, green or compassion in their life. So I've heard that. I've also heard that represents the spirit who would be much more loving or much more empathetic. So it could be that, or or again, a makeup, a, a connection, if you will. Right. Uh, I have seen a lot with, you know, halos. The idea of halos might come from that as well. Orbs. Yes. Yeah. You're right. Well, thank you, everyone. Thanks, Renee. And thanks, thanks Kelly. Renee. Thanks, Great James. And thank you, everybody. <laughs> You've been listening to Both Sides Now and Beyond, featuring spiritual medium and master teacher James Van Brog and spiritual medium and psychotherapist Kelly White. That was great. Maybe we changed some lives. And maybe opened up some minds. Which way do I turn? Uh, right. Uh, I, I mean left. <laughs>